Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the Chinnery channel. This weekend, we were supposed to be in the lovely Philippines. However, we are in... East TST. Yeah, so unfortunately our flights were cancelled due to the virus, but we're gonna have just as much fun in Hong Kong this weekend. First on the docket is we're going to have our U food, which is going to be udon noodles. And then we're going to head to a board game cafe for some fun. So let's get going. There are a few of these restaurants around Hong Kong, so I thought it must be quite good if it's a chain. And we've ordered a few different bits and pieces. I'm starving, so we got a few sides. So I think we've got the chicken udon here. Um, beef, some kind of beef udon. Benito broth. Benito broth, thank you, Arts. And then we've got some dumplings. Um, this is a curry hash brown. We were just intrigued. This is um, some kind of seafood on a stick <laughs> and then this is um deep fried egg plant because why would you not want to make something healthy and healthy so i'm very excited about this meal what does it taste like just a curry it's like a curry fritter thing it doesn't really remind me of a hash brown <laughs> it's so mushy inside but it just tastes like deep fried curry Deep that, fried curry. Is that a good thing? Of course it's a good thing. <laughs> what was your favourite part of the meal? I definitely liked the beef noodles and kind of the soupiness of it more than the dryness of the chicken noodles. Um, and then probably sidewise, I quite liked the seafood stick, which I will find out what it actually is at some point, but it was really nice. And the dumplings. Probably my least favourite part was the deep fried egg plant because it was just not necessary. It was like so crispy outside and then just wet. <laughs> like an egg plant inside. It was just weird. But on a whole, that was a really, really good meal and really cheap. I think it was like 160? 165. 165 for two, a large meal, a regular meal, four sides and a drink. It's amazing. <laughs> So how did you find the meal? Uh, I really liked it. I really liked the chicken noodles that I got. Um, I really liked the chicken itself, which was really well cooked, it was really tasty. And the curry hash brown is uh, just it's an absolute revolution. Uh, I'm gonna try and find out how to make that. That was just amazing. I did like the beef noodles. Um, I found the, the liquid in the broth was quite thin. Um, they're probably what they're going for, but it was tasty. Seafood stick was good, yeah, and just such a affordable meal, very filling and very satisfying. So very, very happy belly. So we finished our meal a while ago, but we can't leave yet because we don't know what to do with our trays. There's like a sign on the table, but we can't read it. So we need to wait and watch someone to see what they do. Oh, I think they're going. just got back from Wheatonwood in Kennedy Town. It was a really cool board game cafe. They had a huge selection of different games. We chose to play Pandemic, which was new to me, but Lawrence had to play. And we also played Scrabble, which was a bit of nostalgia for us because when we first started dating long distance, we used to play Scrabble online quite a lot during our video calls. So this was actually the first time we played Scrabble on a real board before, which was really good. I won. <laughs> Um, but the staff there were awesome. They were really attentive to us when we first arrived, made sure we could pick a game that would work well for the two of us. They suggested different games, told us the rules for different games. Yeah, they were just really, they clearly knew what they were doing and they cared about everyone having a really good time. Yeah, it's not quite as good as a Filipino wedding, but it was a great experience. Would fully recommend Wheat and Wood. 
Company Town. Thanks so much for watching the video. We really enjoyed our day today. We had some great noodles and we had a lot of fun at the Board Game Cafe. If you have any suggestions of food we should be eating or places we should be going in Hong Kong, be sure to leave a comment down below and please do hit that like button and subscribe button. See you on the next one.